In 1967, when I was in the ninth grade, a teacher told us that by the year 2000, everyone would have their own computer and it'll be small enough to fit in our pockets. And it'll be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Only nine years later, when I became a social studies teacher, we still hadn't imagined personal computers, but we did have calculators. And they cost $200, and they were being advertised as a gift for a lifetime. To give you a little more context, this is what I wore for that job interview. But only a few years later, someone wrote a grant that put 11 Radio Shack Model 3 computers in my school. They each had 16 kilobytes of memory. And they were awesome. And since none of the other teachers in my school wanted a computer, I got all of them. And these 11 meager computers were the seeds of a coming revolution. That's how it started for me, but I want to tell you more about the 40 years that I've spent as part of this revolutionary emergence of computers in our classrooms. I want to tell you stories from the trenches that'll make you laugh and make you want to imagine new possibilities. And I want to share websites, videos, and podcasts through these codes for your smartphones or your tablet. I offer my book, The Days and Nights of a Quiet Revolution. It's available in print and digital on Amazon or your favorite brick-and-mortar bookstore. Or go to http colon slash slash quietrevolution.tech. <laughs>